Here are some of the important people you need to know at KM. Our admin staff includes our principal, Mr. Rafford, assistant principals, Ms. Anderson, Dr. Devlin, Mr. Ness, and Mr. Robles, and administrative intern, Ms. Drake. Our athletics director is Ms. Kelly. Our activities director is Ms. Berry, and our cashier is Ms. Whitford. Our counselors are Mr. Alvarez, Ms. Howlett, Ms. McGinnis, Ms. Moss, Ms. Ortiel, and Ms. Shalene. In order to graduate in four years, you'll need 24 credits. Keep on top of your school works because if you don't pass the class, you'll have to make up the credits online or during summer school. Each day will either be an A day or a B day. A days are going to be on Mondays and Tuesdays. On an A day, we have periods one, two, and three. So you can see here you have period one from 8.30 to 9.40 a.m. We have a 15 minute break. Then we go to period two, 15 minute break. And then we have period three from 11.20 to 12.30 p.m. We have a scheduled lunch um, just for you to take a break, eat, like kind of rejuvenate yourself before going back into schoolwork. So from one o'clock to four o'clock, you that is going to be your time to do your student work. And it's your individual time that you will not have any class scheduled during one o'clock to four o'clock on A days. Uh, staff will have office hours so you can reach out to staff or staff might reach out to you uh, and you, there might be counseling appointments as needed during this time as well. And if you look at Tuesday, Tuesday is the exact same except there might be another class zero hour. Some students have a seventh class that they take uh, and that would be during this time zero hour. B days are on Thursdays and Fridays. And it's the exact same schedule, time-wise, except you have period four, period five, and period six on these days. Monday, always going to be A day. Tuesday, always going to be A day. The first day of school is a Thursday, and we will actually have an A day that day. So September 3rd, we will have an A day. So you'll have first, second, and third. And then Friday, we'll, we'll start the B days for Fridays. And the rest of the uh, time that we're doing remote teaching, Thursdays will be B. Take note of Wednesday. On Wednesdays, you have uh, the week of September 8th, you'll have an A day, and it goes back and forth between A and B every other week. So what this looks like, again, Wednesday A day, you have periods 1, periods 2, and periods 3 on an A day on a Wednesday. Sometimes we might do advisory. So this is what the schedule would look like then. You'd have period one, then you have an HSB time, which is just our advisory time with your assigned advisor, period two, and then period three. Now, if it's a B day on a Wednesday, you just have period four, five, and six. So it will probably, it will just go back and forth. And again, you'd have period four, HSB, period five, and then period six. You should go to your Outlook calendar in order to find uh, the link to your online class. So Outlook is this icon right here, and you can search it if needed. Your email is under this tab, but you'll want to click this calendar button to get to your calendar. Your teachers have sent you links and you can see them on your Outlook calendar. Say it's Monday, September 7th, and I need to get into my period one class. You're gonna double click your calendar invite, say okay. And at the bottom, it will say join Microsoft Teams meeting. You're going to click this, and Microsoft Teams, this icon will pop up. You'll want to mute your 
microphone, but have your video on when able. And then you'll just say, join now. Right now it's just a meeting with just me, but hopefully you'll see about 30 other students uh, and your teacher, and you'll see each other's faces and be able to do online learning there. And this will be just for period one, the link I, I went to. When you're done with the meeting, you'll say leave, and you can go back to your calendar, and maybe after the uh, break, I need to join period two. So I double click period two, and I, again, it's gonna be a different link, but you'll still click join Microsoft Teams meeting. Whoop. You'll mute yourself when you first join, have your video on, and you'll say join now. One tip for remote learning is to plan a daily routine to ensure you have enough time for working, studying, classes, and your other daily activities. Hi, another tip you can use in your remote daily learning is to make sure that you're always checking your email since that's going to be the main form of communication and to always have a positive attitude. My tip for remote learning is to make sure that in between each class you get up, stretch, um, get some water, just to make sure that you don't overwork your brain while being at your computer all day. video we will be covering where to access basic technology tools such as Outlook, Canvas, Teams, Microsoft Translator tool, and what to do when you have laptop issues. Checking your email daily is very important. It is the best way to stay informed of all KM announcements and communication from your teachers. You can access your KSD Outlook email in two ways, by using the Outlook app on your KSD laptop or by connecting to the internet and logging in to your Office 365 account. To open the Outlook app on your laptop, click on the Windows icon located in the bottom left corner of your screen. When the tiles open, locate the Outlook tile, click on it, and Outlook will open. To open Outlook from the internet, click on the Windows icon, click on Google Chrome, and then at the KM homepage, in the top right corner, click on the Office 365 link. When Office 365 opens, find the Outlook tile and click on it. And then Outlook will open. Canvas is an online learning platform. It allows for two-way communication between teachers and students. Teachers use Canvas to post class information such as announcements, assignments, video tutorials, and quizzes. Students also use it to submit assignments. You can access Canvas from the KM homepage. To open Canvas, click on the Windows icon located in the bottom left corner of your screen, and then open Google Chrome. At the KM homepage, you will scroll down to the bottom of the screen. Under the red shortcuts menu, click on Canvas. When Canvas opens, you will see a dashboard. If your teachers are using Canvas, you will see a square tile with the name of your course. Click on the course tile to open it, and then you will follow your teacher's instructions in the course. Teams is an online classroom platform that allows students, teachers, and staff to work together in a collaborative environment, much like a traditional classroom. Using the Teams app is preferred over the online version. The preferred way to access Teams is by using the app. Click on the magnifying glass located in the bottom left corner of your screen and begin typing Teams. Press Enter. Right click on the Teams app and select Pin to Taskbar. That way, your Teams icon will appear on your taskbar for easier, quicker access. Now click on the Teams icon and Teams will open. To open Teams from the internet, open Google Chrome. 
and then open Office 365, and then click on the Teams icon. Teams will then open on a new tab in your browser. Microsoft Translator is a free translation tool that works with our district's Microsoft products and allows relatively accurate communication in 63 different languages. You must download the app from the Microsoft Store. Using your KSD laptop, go to the Microsoft Store by clicking on the white shopping bag with the Microsoft logo on your taskbar. Next, click on that person in the upper right corner and click on Add Work or School Account. Find your name and click on it, and then click Continue. Enter your password, and then click Sign In. Begin typing Microsoft Translator in the search field, and then press Enter. At the top of your screen, you will click on More and select Kent School District. This will filter the results to only Kent School District apps. Scroll until you find Microsoft Translator, click on it, and then click Install. If you have any issues with your laptop, please contact the Customer Support Center, also known as CSC. You may send them an email or call them. Some issues can be resolved remotely but other issues may require you to make an appointment and take your laptop to the Customer Support Center. The KM Hub is a free resource and supply center for students and their families. The Hub provides access to food, personal products, school supplies, and other essentials for students and families when needed. The Hub also provides information to connect students and families with assistance and services in the community. For more information, go to kmhub.org. There are so many ways to get involved at KM. Here are a sampling of some of the sports, clubs, and activities you can be a part of. Like everything else, sports and clubs will be different this year. Sports will start in January and clubs will be meeting online. Watch your email for ways to get involved. We're so excited to have you as our newest Royals. Welcome to KM.